we're up close and personal, baby. My most favorite, favorite summer favorites, if that makes any sense. Stuntin, 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 stuntin. Next up, who's gonna stop me? The shoe police? <laughs> What is up, boyfriends, girlfriends, and everybody in between? My name is Lexi. If you haven't seen my face before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the nice comment shout out of the video goes to this person right here. Thank you so, so much for all of your kind words. They truly, truly mean the world. And if you wanna be my next nice comment shout out in my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Welcome to the video, you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. I am excited for this video. It's been something that I've wanted to film for quite some time now, but I wanted to just kind of wait until I got to like the middle of the summer before I jumped out and you guys all of my summer favorites so i have makeup cosmetics swimsuits clothes shoes bag that i'm going to be showing you guys today let's not waste any time and let's just hop right into the video all right you guys so i am going to start with makeup because this is what i'm most excited to show you guys the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is probably not a surprise if you've been here for a while it is my bare minerals lash topia mascara i have had this for quite some time and it has not dried out yet i love the brush on it it is absolutely amazing i have very very short eyelashes and I know a lot of people say every mascara is the same but to me no like I know a mascara that looks good because then it makes me look like I have long eyelashes we're up close and personal baby but here is just a look of what my eyelashes look like and I love how that even though the brush is big it still allows me to apply it pretty neat on my lower lashes as well so here are my eyelashes I love this mascara so much. My Black Radiance BB Cream, and I am in the shade Honey Amber. I love this for the summer because it has SPF 15 in it, and I have oily skin, so I don't necessarily like to like slather sunscreen on before or after I put on a primer and a bunch of makeup because then my skin gets really clogged, like my pores get really clogged, and I just look gross. So I feel like this obviously gives me some sun protection. First of all, BB creams are great. I rarely ever wear foundation. I shouldn't say rarely ever because I do have a little foundation collection, but I prefer BB BB creams or tinted moisturizers over foundation any day. It doesn't matter if I'm going to a wedding. I like something that looks super natural and very light coverage. I just really like natural makeup, especially in the summertime. I noticed that in the fall, I like like really heavy makeup, but in the summertime, I just want something light and natural because I just want that natural glow, you know? I've been using this since I was in high school. I think my freshman or sophomore year of high school. And now I'm a rising sophomore in college, so that's a long time. I love this product a ton. Next up is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup Broad Spectrum. This also has SPF 15, which is great for the summertime. I'm wearing this right now, so you guys can see, like, I'm wearing it right now. I love it a lot. I have a pimple right there. Please ignore it. But I love this so much. It literally just, like, blends into my skin. I will say that this product I can wear without a tan and with a tan because it kind of like does that thing where it oxidizes and it matches your skin tone perfectly. But this one I can only wear when I'm like exactly this color because it doesn't do that as much, but I still love it nonetheless. It's super light. I don't feel like I have anything on my face at all and I'm getting some SPF too, which is really great. This kind of puts me in the mind of the Glossier Skin Tint. I love the Glossier Skin Tint as well, but the one that I have is a lighter color, so it's not my summer color. So that's why it's not in this video. It's more of like my winter color, if I'm being honest. I need to buy one for summer because I love that so much. But this really puts me in the mind of the Glossier Skin Tint because it kind of has the same top, which I really like. Since we were just talking about Glossier, I'm gonna show you guys two of my favorite. These two products that I'm about to show you guys are probably my most favorite, favorite summer favorites. If that makes any sense. So here I have the Glossier Cloud Paints. I have this one in Storm and this one in Dawn. I do feel like these are, I don't wanna say the only two that I feel like would show up on my skin. I've had these for two or three years and I feel like this summer I just realized how to apply it to make it look really, really good. What I like to do is I actually wear both of them at the same time. I put a little more of Dawn than I do Storm and I put it on the back of my hand and then I take a, like a, I don't know how to explain the brush but it's a very densely packed brush and I mix it all together and then I dab 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 and I wait for it to dry down a little dab 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 and then I blend it out just very very lightly and it just looks so beautiful I'm wearing both of these right now as well if you guys couldn't tell so I love these a lot they're very buildable very pretty next up is my Smashbox LA Lights blendable lip and cheek color love this so much I'm wearing this right now too I wear like the same makeup 
go every single day in the summer the only difference i would say from day to day is like whether i put on like my bb cream or my clinique even better glow sometimes they do sometimes they don't especially if i'm going to be at the pool but i use this every day even if i'm not wearing any makeup i will put this on with my lash topia mascara and just a clear lip gloss and be on my way so pretty so natural and it looks so dewy i literally just put this on my finger and dab it on the high points of my face and it just has me glowing the next two things are lip glosses one of you guys asked me in my dms if i could do a review on these lip glosses i'm not really a beauty beauty channel even though like some of the content i do is beauty related and i feel like my audience like i feel like the majority of you guys would not be interested in watching me review two lip glosses so i'm going to talk about them right now these are two of my summer favorites this one is the makeup revolution pout balm and it's a plumping lip gloss with vitamin e this one is clear i am obsessed okay i got this at ulta i think it was like seven or eight dollars my mom bought it for me because she had a store credit but look at how beautiful that looks like the dove foot isn't that what it's called like the dove foot applicator it's just so big and juicy and i love it the only downside is that this is just so small but i don't see myself going through this by the end of the summer because a little goes a long way i just feel like this is one of the best clear lip glosses that i've ever tried in my life and this one is probably like my favorite favorite this is the ColourPop so juicy plumping lip gloss and this is in the shade stunting 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 Stunting, I guess. Um, I love it so much. It does have a little bit of glitter, which I'm not too fond of, but it is so, so, so little that you can't even tell when you have it on. I'm wearing it right now. I love it so much. And both of these plumping lip glosses that I've showed you, like this lip gloss and the Makeup Revolution one, they don't hurt your lips like that Too Faced injection stuff, okay? Because that stuff, that hurts. That's painful. But this is really, really good. I like it a lot. And I love the like raspberry color because this is the ideal color of my lips. And sometimes I don't like wearing clear lip gloss especially if i have other makeup on because i feel like it washes my face out but this one is like just perfect for every day i love lip gloss in a tube love this so much now moving on to cosmetics i have a few cosmetics to show you guys and i'm going to start with the super cute play everyday lotion with sunflower extract this is a sunscreen it is spf 50 i know in my skincare video i was like i'm not sure how i feel about this yet but now that i'm in the literal heat of the moment like it's hot in the summertime and humid af in georgia right now i have realized how much i love this i don't know what i was thinking when i was like iffy about it it doesn't leave my skin super oily it only leaves my skin oily Oily when I use a certain serum with it I noticed so I love this so much it blends nicely into my skin it doesn't leave a white cast I love it next up are my body products I these are actually wet because I just took them out of my shower this is the Bath and Body Works Portofino Pink Prosecco and it has shea and vitamin E oil I love these so much this is the shower gel and this is the body mist I've seen TikTok saying that Bath and Body Works sprays only last like five seconds but when I'm like out or like when I come downstairs after a shower like a couple hours later my mom's like oh you smell good so I don't know. Bath and Body Works shower gels are just next level. They lather so well. I love them. So I'm just going to leave that at that. Next up, I'm sure you guys are wondering what I moisturize my body with because I don't have the little like body cream from Bath and Body Works because instead I used to use the body creams from Bath and Body Works. They're great. But to get the bang for my buck, I moved to like body creams in tubs. This is the Nivea body cream, irresistibly smooth with deep moisture serum and shea butter. It is for dry skin. It claims that it will give you 48 hours of indulging deep moisture care. I can attest to that if I don't shower for like a day and a half and I get in the shower I can literally feel this like still coming off of my body. I love this a lot I've been buying my Nivea products from TJ Maxx because they have these huge tubs for only six dollars This was $5.99. I go through like maybe two of these a month because i pack this on especially at night it feels so good and it doesn't leave you greasy which i think is important in the summer i have been obsessed with the sol de janeiro coco cabana cream um this is like the aqua teal one i'm obsessed i love it so much i have noticed that it just smells so good the first time i smelled this i was like oh why does it smell like coffee maybe my sense of smell was off that day because this just smells like sweet and warm but at the same time it smells tropical i don't even know what the fragrance notes in this are but i love it so much it doesn't leave my hands greasy i like to use this on my hands because it's so small it doesn't leave my hands greasy and i just like that about it next up is the corez jasmine 
lip butter and it looks like this it's really tiny my mom got this for me and i just started using this i want to say maybe two weeks ago and i love it a bunch i might even say i don't want to say i like it more than the laneige lip sleeping mask because that's just like next level this just it's different i like to use this during the day because it lasts so long under my lipsticks under my lip glosses and I just love it. It smells really good too. Next up, I only have one thing for oral hygiene and TikTok made me buy it. It is the TheraBreath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. It fights bad breath for 24 hours. I can attest to this, you guys. It actually works. I'm not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. I literally love this so much. It is unbelievable. It does this thing where like if you eat something, you'll feel it on your breath. Like you know when you eat something and you can like feel the taste of it still on your breath? After about like 10, 15 minutes, it's like it just neutralizes you're supposed to swish with it for one minute and then gargle for 30 seconds and sometimes i don't do the full time because i don't always have time for that but when you do the full time it really works even if you don't do the full time it still works if that makes sense next up i'm going to talk about two skincare products that i've been loving the first one is probably not going to catch you guys by surprise it is my foreo luna mini 3 obsessed with this you guys also obsessed with the ufo but i obviously don't use the ufo every single day i use this every morning and every night i love Love it literally so worth it obsessed and for you actually sent this to me but i will say once i need to buy another one of these i will be running okay running to go buy another one the last skincare product in the last cosmetic is my i do care pure to the poor cleansing volcanic ash clay mask next level if you have oily skin next level i can only attest for my oily skin but sometimes especially in the summer when you're wearing your sunscreen if you want to put on a bb cream even after you double cleanse and do like your whole little routine and everything it just doesn't feel right you know i'm like it just it feels like something's still there you know so i like to use this when my pores feel like not necessarily clogged but my skin doesn't feel super clean when i tell you it brings everything to the surface and like the next day i don't know if you guys know this but if you use a charcoal mask or a clean mask really any mask that like hardens and extremely extracts anything out of your skin obviously it's extracting something so you might have a couple of pimples and i know it works because like the next morning i'll wake up with like a couple of pimples in the super oily parts of my face and then they go away and my skin feels so good so i wouldn't say that this breaks me out it's just part of the mask and i love this so much i've been using this mask for i want to say like two years this is my second or third one. It's very similar to the Glam Glow Mask, the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask, but it doesn't give you that like tingly feeling, I would say. I like the Glam Glow one. I know some skincare specialists say like, oh, that's not good. I personally love that mask and this is a really, really good, more affordable alternative. So I have two swimsuits to show you guys that have been my favorite this summer. Um, I have this one from Cupchi. If you guys have not seen my Cupchi try on bathing suit haul, then make sure you guys check this out. But let me just go ahead and show you guys. So it's like striped and it's super colorful. You guys know I love colors. I love the bandeau, the strap. You can keep them on or take them off. And I like the bottoms because they're cheeky and they're flattering and like high rise on your leg your whole butt isn't out you know what i'm saying so i like this a lot it looks great in pictures and i just feel really confident in it the next one i'm going to show you guys is like the complete opposite of that one and it is this airy high-waisted bikini that i've had gosh i've had this for a long time i want to say i've had it since my sophomore year of high school i think so i've had this for a while it's like it's got the little halter tie and i never untie it because if i have a tan line i just put on the same one the next day so I don't have like various tan lines and stuff, but love this a bunch like look at how cute this is and it's this really pretty color i posted this on my instagram can you guys see the color of it i posted this on my instagram if you guys don't follow me on instagram make sure you guys do that because a lot of these things that i'm showing you guys if you're on my instagram you guys probably have seen these already so get a sneak peek of what's going on behind the scenes and i always talk about things that i'm loving on my instagram candidly i've been obsessed with these sweat shorts from h m i got these in a medium i'm pretty sure they were only 12.99 i've been wanting shorts like this for the longest time i will say like they had like the longer one like the kind of like boy looking basketball shorts not a fan not a fan of those i don't think those are cute at all sorry if i'm offending you but it's just not my vibe so these are like the short short ones i got these in a medium they fit loose but they fit perfect and i love them so much they're also like a very like not thick material but a heavy material so it feels good quality and i also like that it has these little silver thingies on the drawstring i have another pair of these sweat shorts and i have them in this beige color obsessed with these these are like 
a different line, but they're from H&M. This is their like divided line, which I think is like their younger people junior section. These are just really cute. Just to throw on with a white shirt, black shirt. If you're going out to run errands, just chilling around the house. I felt like I needed more like lounge shorts because some of the shorts that I have, like I've had forever and my booty cheeks hang out of them. So now I have some that fit. This is always a summer favorite, this dress right here. I posted it on my Instagram, wink, wink, follow me. But I posted on my Instagram, it is this really pretty kind of like bohemian style dress. I love the patterns on it, it's very light. But I'll try and find something similar to link down below, but I've had this dress for I think five or six years now. It was one of those dresses that my mom bought me to grow into. So I love it, I wear it every summer. I wore it in high school during the warmer months. I wore it like almost every week. That's how much I loved it. Last clothing item you guys probably aren't surprised by, it is this yellow sweatshirt. I got a lot of comments asking where I got this sweatshirt. I think I finally posted it on my community tab or my Instagram, not too sure, but you guys love this sweater. It is this yellow sweatshirt and it says Lemonada, which is part of my terrible Italian accent. It is lemonade in Italian, which I think is so cute. I was at the mall before cases started rising in Georgia again with my mask on and being safe and everything. I just found this. It was one of those things that it's like, why is this here? You know, like what what's happening? Why is this, <laughs> why is this here? It was only $10.99, so 11 bucks. It is in a double X, but I love a big sweatshirt and I love the color of this so much. So yeah, I have four pairs of shoes to show you guys. I'm gonna go through these super quick because like shoes are shoes. I like them. I like all of these because they're comfortable, convenient, and cute. I have my Birkenstocks here. I know like they look kind of gross, but on the outside, they still look brand new. I've had these for two or three years now. Love the heck out of them. And I get a lot of compliments on this color. I will link these exact Birkenstocks down below for you guys. Next up are my favorite flip-flops of all time. I love float hose. That's what they're called. I used to call them flojos, but they're actually pronounced flow hose. These are the perfect beach pool flip-flops. They're very comfortable and they look like they're leather. They're this dark brown color, but they almost look black. So you can wear them with any and everything. And they have this like very comfy, like firm cushion here. So your feet don't hurt when you're walking in them. I really don't like when things are in between my toes. I'm typically a slides girl. So trust me when I say these are comfortable. Next up are these shoes that I've had for about a year. I got them from TJ Maxx. They are by Rock Candy. They are the, just this braided slide. They look very expensive. I think I got them for like 14 or 15 bucks, somewhere around there. I've had them for maybe a year or two. I remember wearing these in high school. So I've had these for a while. I love the color of them. It's like that cognac leather color. And they're also very, very comfortable. My feet do not hurt in these at all. Next thing is next. You guys know it's coming. You guys know are my Crocs, my hot pink Crocs. I love them so much. It should be illegal how much I love these shoes, but I just love them so much. I wear them with things that I probably shouldn't wear them with, but they're just comfortable. Like who's gonna stop me? The shoe police? I love these so much. I got these in a size eight. They're hot pink. These are the electric pink ones, I think they're called. I also have a yellow pair, but I'm not gonna lie. I bought two pair and I really only wear these. So if one of you guys wants to buy them, they're size eight as well. Literally the same exact shoe as this, but they're yellow. I'll link them down below so you guys can look at them. Brand new, I've only wore them like twice. Like I, I'll, I'll wear them, but if one of you guys wants to buy them all of me then i'll sell them i need to drink some water i'm like out of breath we're almost done with this video i'm gonna show you guys three bags that i've been loving this summer the first one is from teddy blake i'm gonna like just show you guys the whole shebang here it is this is a big box teddy blake sent me this bag and it's unbelievably beautiful i got to pick one off of their site and they sent it to me so i want to show you guys it the packaging is very secure too so so it comes in a little dust bag like this and it is this really, really adorable. This was my hope that coronavirus just disappears and I can wear this cute bag when I'm out to brunch and whatnot. That's not happening here, but this bag is just beautiful. It's this white bag. It has gold detailing and I typically go for really small bags, but I wanted something that was structured, looked a little mature and yeah, I just like it a lot. I will have this bag linked down below for you guys as well, but it's just so beautiful. It's literally pure white, which is so hard to find. And I just love how structured it is. Cause like when I see structured bags, I just think professional, you know, like expensive. So thank you so much to Teddy Blake for sending me this bag. I love it so much. And I just can't wait till I can carry it and like take it to brunch. That's the first place I'm gonna take it. Once all this stuff is over, I'm going to wear the most beautiful yellow dress and take this with me to a nice brunch in Atlanta. Love it. All right, you guys, the next two bags you guys have seen on my Instagram. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, both of them you've seen on my Instagram. This is my pink Fial Robin Konkin sling. I love it so much. Also, sorry if I'm butchering that to all my Swedish subscribers. I'm probably saying it wrong, but just know I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. It is pink. It is cute. I bought this for myself for my 19th birthday. If you guys have not seen my 19th birthday vlog and the video talking about what I got for my 19th birthday, check it out. But this is a purchase that I do not regret. I carry this so much. I will say that I've worn it with jeans, which I probably won't do again because you know how like your jeans rub onto a bag with lighter fabric. I still love it regardless. And so far, so good. I'm keeping it as clean as I can possibly keep it. I was nervous about getting this pink because I thought like so much dirt would show up on it. But so far, so good. I can't complain. And the last last bag is this beautiful beautiful straw bag it was made in vietnam and like literally handmade in vietnam and it's just so beautiful it looks like a little picnic basket and what i love about it is you can wear it as a crossbody or you can take these straps off and carry it look isn't that adorable isn't that freaking adorable like so cute right and so summery it looks like a mini picnic basket which is so cute i got this from tj maxx for 25 dollars but they do have very similar ones on etsy because i know it's like so hard to find things at TJ Maxx when people were like, oh, I got it at TJ Maxx. So in the Instagram post, I tagged Etsy because they have literally this exact same purse. Last two favorites, you guys know I love my Hydro Flask. Love it so much. I just got another one from the container store that I'm so excited about. It's like one of those things, you know? Like, you know when you get something for your birthday or for Christmas and it's new and you've been wanting it forever, but you don't want to open it because then it's like, oh, like, I just don't want to open it. That's all I feel about it. Last thing is this almost empty bag of Trader Joe's Scandinavian swimmers. I've been seeing so many mom bloggers talk about these Scandinavian swimmers and I do not like candy. The only candy that I actually enjoy eating is the Haribo Coca-Cola gummies. Love those so much. My favorite candy. The only candy that I ever really want. So I have a thing with like gummy candy. That's like the only candy that I would want and that I crave sometimes. So I got these Trader Joe's Scandinavian swimmers. I got these two days ago you guys and they're almost gone. Like there's only like a handful left. Probably shouldn't buy these too frequently but they're really 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 good. Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this summer favorites video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And for a chance of getting next night's comment shout out in the video, I am happy that I showed you guys some of these things because I've been looking at summer favorites videos. I can't really leave my house, so I've been feeling kind of down. So I've been finding joy and just like certain things that I can use in my everyday life. And hopefully that's the case for you guys too. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram and all of my other socials. They are always linked down below in the description box. I am gonna go ahead and sign off, but before I go, I want to remind you guys just spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander the more you wonder i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys oh, would you be so kind as to fall in love with me you see i'm trying i know you know that i like you but that's not enough so if you will please fall in